nothing happens by accident. Gaubel Tomas actually <laughs> believed that that seat was empty. <laughs> It was not. She left it for you. She knew you would sit there. She knew you would do what it is that you need to do. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Maria Borges. Let me begin at the beginning. And, and, and for all the members of the Board of Trustees that are here tonight, um, I, I, I want to tell you that your governance of this university is difficult, but you are a remarkable example to everyone who is here. And the job that you've done, it's just amazing. And what you continue to do, and we thank you for that. Um, Dr. Farahi, uh, my God, it's been 15, 16, 17 years of collaboration, problem solving, because that's what we do, but above all, it's been friendship. And for that, I thank you very, very much. And I am so thankful that so many of you are here tonight, and thank you for all of your support, particularly between 2008 and 2012, when um, I became chair. The university did need a facelift. We all know that. Born Ames was a new building when I entered, and I thought God was that ugly. <laughs> and Dr. Farahi did do that. But he also knew that you just don't build a building. What's more important is not what the building looks like. It's what goes inside the building. It's what we do when we're inside the new buildings. The learning the mentoring and the exchange and the creation of diverse ideas. That's what makes Kane a world-class university. And you did it. Thank you. And because of that, that's why I am on the Foundation Board of Directors. That's why I establish an endowed scholarship. That is why I speak to every group, any group that I am asked to speak to. That is why I, put, I support Project Adelante. That is why I have made it my life's mission to provide internship opportunities at an airport close to Kane University, which is Newark Airport, and assign them to that man who's right there runs the financial services unit for New York and Teterboro airports because this institution and education are my passion. Kane is responsible for shaping me into the executive that I go into that big building every day at Fort World Trade Center. A business that produces full 2.6 billion million with a B. <laughs> in gross revenues, 330,000 jobs to folks in the New York and New Jersey area, and $19 billion in wages to people who work there. And I learned how to do all that at Kane. And for that, I will always be very, very grateful. And today's honor is just incredible humble. I do want to introduce a couple of folks that came with us today. Um, first, I, I want to introduce Jose and Dr. Hilda Del Risco. Um, Dr. Del Risco is a professor here. She's got more energy than I do. <laughs> she is a credit to this university, and her classes are always extremely full. I also want to introduce you to Edward and Soila de la Cruz, our dear friends for such a long time, and as previous owners of, I don't know how many McDonald's <laughs> in the area, they forgave me when they found out that White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for being with us tonight. And now let me get a little bit sentimental. And you, and you touched upon this. 
for the last 40 years, 40 and a half years, but who's counting? I have been married to a man who's an engineer's engineer, and his name is Tomas Mario Bordas. And it has been what I call a true partnership. One of support, one of trust, commitment, and above all, love. And I think that the best thing that you and I have ever done is to produce those two <laughs> that, are stand, that are sitting behind us. Let me introduce to you Christina. Fernando. Let me introduce to you Margo. We tell our daughters every day that there have been so many doors that have opened for them. So, as you continue to walk through those doors that open for you, those doors of opportunities, here's what I want you to do. Stop, turn around, take a look at who's behind you, stretch out your hand, and bring that person through the threshold and help someone. You have already been doing that, and both your father and I are very, very proud of the two of you for doing that. I get up every morning, I schlep into over there from New Jersey, and I go and I kick ass. <laughs> so that the two of you know that women, women can succeed in business, as an accountant, the pit, in science, in supply chain, and any career of their choosing and you already have. I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be better than me, and you already are. Um, I read this poem about five or six years ago, and it really stuck with me, and I have it, and I have it, and, and if you know my office, I have it posted right there. And it says, people are not going, and I'm going to paraphrase, People are not going to remember what you said. I know that tomorrow, you're not going to remember what I said today. I know that. People are not going to remember what you did, unless, of course, somebody jumps off the infinity. <laughs> you are going to remember that. But people will always remember how you made them feel. And tonight, you have made me feel amazing. And I thank you for that. So, let's start voting. Let's do some salsa dancing. Let's have some fun. I am humbled. I thank you. Let's go have some fun.